Royal Brand Show, the show tell your royal brand. I'm Royal, your favorite host. Today we are going to take tell about Katir. Considering brand management, how does such an old brand succeed in this new world or just survived? Let's listen to Marie, marketing director from the Katir, telling about their strategy and movement towards this challenge. So Cartier is the number one jeweler worldwide and we are number two for watches. And what we really try to do is maintain the desirability of the brand. So we use traditional marketing approaches and we always try to incorporate new technologies and marketing channels. So what we did a lot during the past few years was um, producing short movies. So the biggest one we produced was L'Odyssée de Cartier. And we decided not to show the movie on our Facebook page and on our own website, but also to show it at prime time on the TV after the news in the US and France, because we really wanted to be heard all over the world. And um, the movie really shows the heritage of the company, the history and the universal scope. And the great things about doing a movie is that it can go viral. And that's exactly what happened with L'Odyssée. So people like it, they share it, and we had 17 million views on YouTube. But we also believe that doing print campaigns really can help the company to further increase brand awareness. So our print campaigns, they all look very much the same. We have a product close-up, we have our signature red box and we have the panther. The panther is not only the symbol for, of Cartier, but we really think he represents what the stand brands for. It's true elegance and power. But we also do event sponsorships. We had two great exhibitions in China and in Paris, where again we try to show the history of the brand. Very welcome to today's guests to join us in this topic. Let's ask um, brand consultant Maria first. How effective Cartier's strategy is, do you think? Well, of course Cartier has made some um, significant marketing efforts, but I think that there is still room for improvement. Uh, for instance, regarding L'Odyssée, of course they did a great job in terms of storytelling and brand content, but I think that the spot relies too heavily on the historical and traditional dimension of the brand and does not sufficiently showcase the dynamic and innovative um, aspects that Cartier is currently trying to be associated with. Um, I also think that Cartier has um, currently difficulties remaining coherent with their brand position. Uh, for instance, with L'Odyssée, I personally don't think that the spot is really in line with um, this very selective and discreet image of the brand, and I don't either support their decision to ask uh, Erin Watson to be their muse for the latest fragrance, because it doesn't make any sense for the brand to be associated with that woman who always make the headlines for bad reasons. And uh, the second point that I would like to raise today is that uh, Cartier doesn't leverage sufficiently and effectively the opportunities brought by digital like other luxury brands for instance uh, Burberry or Lancome did. Uh, they don't use social media to be a st very strong community and they don't either explore the digital tools that would actually help them to provide a richer customer experience and also know more and better about their clients. So yes, the brand is currently um, trying to strategically adapt to our modern societies, but it somehow remains confined within an old yet prestigious image. Thanks. Gary is one of famous marketing professors from Imperial College. Hi Gary, could you, could you tell us how Katia has established their brand positioning Essential positioning is image and offerings to reach a particular place in customer minds. Sure, Roy. Very nice to be here uh, to share my experience with us, uh, with you guys. Actually, I've been written. It's my publication, and you know everything is written in the chapter two. And well, actually, Cartier is positioning itself as a ostentatious luxury brand, and um, it's actually a hot jewel brand. So uh, it's uh, it's targeting the um, mainly like. Um, the people who are older than 30 years old. And in terms of the brand equity, well, they uh, it is a top of the mind uh, brand of many customers and or maybe even mass, mass customers, um, the mass actually. So while it 
um, attains a very high breadth and depth, which forms the brand salience yeah, uh, of the CBBE model, the customer-based brand equity model. And then in terms of the brand performance and the judgment, actually, Cartier is doing quite you know, aggressively in uh, extending the brand. Well, uh, they are doing like uh, sunglasses, fragrance, fountain pen, and watches. So, well, someone may argue that, well, uh, the product quality is not that Good in comparison to the to to itself before, uh, so finally it may form as a hindrance of the brand salience of the brand. So you think overall, uh, Cartier is doing good in establishing a position of brand equity, mm -hmm. and how can you measure it from an academic perspective? Mm, well, there are a couple of methods. First, it may, might be the interbrand method, which uh, is widely used for many brands. Cartier is ranked like third, 40 something now this year. And there's another method called BAW method. And the third method should be some, you know, actually you can compute some hard max and see how much premium the customer are willing to pay for the same jewelry, for example, jewelry, for example, without, uh, I mean, well, uh, with by removing the same, uh, the, the brand name of Cartier. And one uh, important point that I have to mention here is that actually uh, for a luxury brand, 33% of the customers or maybe the target customer uh, have their knowledge or maybe awareness of it is enough. But now, uh, actually target, um, Cartier has been doing quite aggressively to, for example, doing TVC to target the mass customer to, in order to get a higher awareness. It, you know, uh, from an academic perspective, it might be irrelevant to the brand, uh, for the brand equity building. Okay, well, let's see what customers think. Yeah. Uh, what would you normally think of or associate with when talking about brand Cartier? Well, for me, Cartier, I, I would think of it as a very fine and and specialized jewelry. It's like, it has a really long history. Luxury brand that I think has been around for a long time. Uh, diamonds and something very expensive. Second question is, if we were to compare Cartier with a car, which, which car brand do you think Cartier would be? Wow, um, I would compare it to Bentley. Uh, I think I'd compare it to Jaguar maybe. If, if Cartier would be a car, I would think of Maserati. Then it would be, I guess, a Rolls Royce or a Bentley or something like this. There's always a line between getting old fashioned and the longevity. Let's ask Pima, who works for several brand, large, larger brands for many years. Hi Pima. Uh, what do you suggest how Cartier could sustain or grow up their brand equity? Well, in order for Cartier to continue on their success, what they need to do is to think more about a potential customer and center all their activity from product design to marketing efforts around this group of people because their current and existing customer will age and these young and next generation people will become their next target audience. So. They never know, maybe some of these younger generation, even now, they can afford the brand. So it is important for the brand, for Cartier, to make their product and brand more appealing to these people. And in doing so, Cartier can first collaborate with upcoming and emerging designer because they can use this designer to design a more uh, modern, but yes, prestigious product like watch and jewelry line to appeal to this group of people and in doing so Cartier can utilize a secondary association in which the image trendy image of the designer can be transferred and make the brand look more young and modern and another thing that Cartier needs is that they need to focus all their marketing efforts around this group of people they would need a good content marketing by delivering a relevant, valuable, and consistent marketing message using the right spokesperson. For example, they can use Emma Watson who has the image that fit with the brand, or they can even use Fan Bingbing to extend and appeal to the Asian market. And if we look at the current marketing digital channels like Instagram, Pinterest of Cartier and so on, we would know th we would notice that what they posted right now is photos and video from the current ad and campaign in which in fact they could utilize the photo of the celebrities wearing each jewelry pieces in a stylish way. And in doing so it could help 
people who might think that Cartier is too old for them to see the brand in a new light that oh actually the, their product the brand is actually stylish and maybe it's the right brand for them okay that's our guest giving us a very brilliant discussion